Hey, this is Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Today we're in this attic and we're, we are making a conditioned attic by installing spray foam on the bottom of the roof deck. You know, at Dr. Energy Saver, the number one priority, a priority to make a house more comfortable, energy efficient, to reduce drafts, uh, lower fuel and electric bills, is to uh, take care of the attic because warm air rises to the top of the house and it leaks out and the attic is a very hostile place temperature wise. In the winter, it's vented, it's very cold. In the summer, it's very hot because of the radiant energy of the sun, much hotter than the outdoors. Could be 140 degrees in your attic in the summer. And uh, <clears throat> we want to make sure your conditioned space is isolated from that hostile attic. But what if we have uh, air handler and ducts in an attic? Well, our air conditioning is trying to make 55 degrees and run it through ducts that are in a 140 degree attic. That doesn't make any sense. In the winter time, our heater is trying to make 120 degree air and run it through 30 degree ducts. That doesn't make any sense either. Our typical strategy is to uh, air seal and insulate the attic floor. And we do that in millions of homes. And that's a, a very common, very good strategy. Uh, but what if we can't get to all the air leaks in the attic floor because there's uh, it's a very complicated, detailed house and it's hard to get to those things. What if there's an air handler and ducts in the attic? They're still going to be in that hostile environment. Now we can air seal and insulate the ducts, but uh, it's better if we just make the whole attic uh, a conditioned space. In other words, uh, make it so it's not hot in the summer, it's not cold in the winter, and we do that by moving a thermal and air barrier to the bottom of the roof deck instead of the attic floor. There's two different kinds of foams. Open cell foam is applied much thicker. Here we have a seven inch depth on average and it's very bumpy, so that's the nature of open cell foam. And I can push my finger into this foam if I wanted to, it's soft. Closed cell foam is hard and you can't stick your finger through it. And it has a higher R value per inch, really amazing R value per inch. And it is only applied on an attic roof deck uh, to about two or three inches thick. So we have sprayed uh, seven inches on average of open cell spray foam on the bottom of this roof deck and we're going to apply a vapor barrier paint to the bottom of it now. And that has made a huge difference already in this house. Uh, the furnaces are running less, the homeowner reports uh, just in the time that we've uh, been working on this job for the last several days. And uh, if we use our thermal imaging camera and I shoot the bottom of the roof deck, I can see that the bottom of the roof deck is 67 degrees and it is 25 degrees out today. So it's 25 just on the other side of this foam, 67 in an attic that we're not even heating. This is just the heat that would have leaked out uh, of the house anyway uh, and now we're capturing it at the top of the house by putting an airtight thermally insulated cap at the top of the house. Now our ducts are in a friendly environment. They're not going to lose uh, or gain heat on their way to the, from the air handler or from the furnace or air conditioning unit to their intended destination, the rooms that we want to heat or cool. The house is going to be less drafty because less air leaking out of the uh, top of the house means less cold outside unconditioned air leaking in at the bottom of the house to replace the air that left. So we're going to affect the comfort of the uh, first floor, the bottom part of the house, okay, less air leaking in. Uh, dramatic uh, difference in comfort and we're going to lower our fuel and electric bills in a big way with this uh, method. If you'd like to make your home more comfortable, more energy efficient, if you'd like to eliminate drafts, to eliminate cold floors, to make all the rooms even temperature, make your house cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter, and lower your fuel and electric bills, call Dr. Energy Saver. This is exactly what we do every single day. And the best part is the work pays for itself. Yeah. <laughs>